Dayoon is a college student who also works part-time in a coffee shop. She is a pleasant young woman who claims to be content with her life. Her boss is a guy named Jihan who owns the cafe, and he has a little sister named Ari who is obsessed with K-pop idols and spends a lot of time with Dayoon. On the other hand, 21-year-old Kim Buell has been the lead dancer in the group Angels for the past five years and looks exactly like Dayoon. Her contract is about to expire and her CEO is eager to replace her since he dislikes her. But fortunately, her manager is very supportive of her and convinces Buell to participate in an upcoming dating reality show with a famous idol named Jung Woo. He goes on to say that this is her last chance to regain her popularity so that she will not be replaced. However, Buell is suffering from anxiety and depression and she is unsure if she can do it. In the next scene, Dayoon goes to the company that represents Buell to deliver coffee. When Buell's manager comes out to get the coffee, he is taken aback by the resemblance. He then brings Dayoon to meet Buell and both girls are shocked to see each other. Soon after, Buell and her manager ask Dayoon to swap places with Buell for a week in order to participate in the reality dating show. Dayoon initially refuses, but Buell persuades her to agree by stating that since she is sick, she cannot attend the show and therefore her CEO will fire her from the group. Next, Buell's manager teaches Dayoon how to act like Buell, including her mannerisms and habits. Then, Dayoon gets a makeover and goes to the hotel where the show is taking place. When she arrives at the hotel, the receptionist informs her that she must go to a restaurant to meet Jung Woo for dinner. She waits nervously in the restaurant as Jung Woo walks in. Dayoon is blown away by his good looks and she compliments him nervously. After that, they are assigned a task in which they must order food for one another. Dayoon orders a simple steak for him, while Jung Woo orders an eggplant dish for her. He says that he did his research on Buell before coming in and discovered that she loves eggplant. However, it turns out that Dayoon cannot stand eggplant and it is her least favorite food. Yet, having no choice, she somehow eats the entire dish. On the other hand, the manager instructs Buell on what she should and should not do while working in a cafe and then sends her there. In the cafe, Ari is watching a video of the Angels group and tells her that she looks exactly like Buell from the video. However, she remains silent and proceeds to work. Later, Jihan gives Buell a madeleine cake which is Dayoon's favorite. However, she doesn't even touch it and instead eats an eggplant sandwich. In the next scene, Dayoon and Jung Woo return to their respective rooms after leaving the restaurant. Then, we discover that Jung Woo is also having a mental breakdown as a result of a crazy female stalker fan who has been following him everywhere and threatening him. He sees her around every corner and thus has trouble falling asleep at night, even in the most luxurious hotels. Back at the coffee shop, Ari is becoming increasingly suspicious of Buell because of her unusual behavior. She approaches Buell and shows her a picture, asking her to purchase the gift. When Buell agrees to buy it for her, Ari shows her the gift, stating that Dayoon gave it to her two days earlier. Having no other option, Buell tells Ari the truth and asks her to keep it a secret. Later, a customer yells at Buell for accidentally spilling water on her. When the latter refuses to give her ID card, the customer takes her picture and begins harassing her, causing Buell to suffer a panic attack. In the meantime, Jihan and Ari arrive and threaten the customer for misbehaving with their employee. The customer runs away and Ari goes to check on Buell. At the same time, Han notices a prescription for medication prescribed to Kim Buell. When he confronts Ari about it, she is initially hesitant, but after a lot of back and forth, eventually confesses the truth. Buell also apologizes to Jihan and explains that it's ironic that despite being an idol, she gets anxious in front of the camera. Jihan comforts her saying that it's okay to feel that way and that she must not worry too much. Meanwhile, in the next mission, Jung Woo and Dayoon must take part in a photo shoot. Dayoon doesn't pose properly since she's not a professional, so the photographer starts shouting at her. Later, the photographer enters the dressing room and invites Dayoon out for a drink that evening. She tries to reject him, but he threatens her, saying that he knows her CEO is trying to replace her and that he can fix this if he wants. Meanwhile, Jung Woo arrives and takes the photographer along for his solo shoot. The photographer is pleased with the shoot and Jung Woo loudly asks him if he wants to go out for drinks later. The photographer declines, stating that he will be busy later. Then, Jung Woo says that he just asked Buell to join him for drinks, so how can he be so busy? Hearing this, everyone in the room is shocked and Jung Woo reveals everything the photographer said inside to Buell. When asked if it's true, Dayoon also agrees, and the photographer storms off angrily. In the following scene, Jung Woo experiences a panic attack when he sees his stalker in the hotel. Dayoon then takes him to a convenience store to comfort him, and they spend a pleasant time together. Jung Woo tells her about the stalker and how it causes him to be paranoid and full of anxiety. Dayoon also reveals that she was an athlete until an accident broke her hand, preventing her from participating in sports. She used to cry a lot at first, but later she realized that the accident was not her fault and that she doesn't deserve to suffer like that. She ultimately encourages him not to be afraid or worry about the actions of others. Later, they arrive at the hotel and Jung Woo discovers that someone has broken into his room. He becomes terrified and calls Dayoon, and when she arrives, they realize that it was his manager who had been there earlier. 
Still, he says he's scared and cannot sleep now. To help him, Dayun brings her books and sits on his sofa, declaring that she will not leave until he sleeps. They talk all night, and she falls asleep on his sofa. The next morning, Looney, a member of the Angels group, arrives at Jung Woo's door. She assigns him the next mission, which is to cook food for each other. Then she tries to force herself inside the room, but Jung Woo distracts her, and Dayun somehow manages to escape. However, she meets Han Well, another member of the Angel group, waiting for her in her room. Han Well warns her to be careful of Jung Woo and claims that he's a playboy, but Dayun ignores her since she doesn't think that way about him. In the next scene, Jung Woo asks Dayun what her friends like to eat, and since she doesn't know, she calls Buell and asks about their favorites. Buell says that they love tabaki, but Dayun hangs up before hearing that Buell is allergic to mushrooms. Later, Jung Woo and Dayun go to the supermarket to get groceries for the meal, where he buys mushrooms. Meanwhile, Jung Woo receives a phone call and goes outside to answer it. Soon after, Dayun also walks out and overhears Jung Woo saying that he's only acting nice to her because it's a show and that he's not attracted to clingy women like her. Hearing this, she becomes upset and leaves. When they return to the hotel, Dayun begins acting strange and is rude to him. When he confronts her about it, she doesn't say anything and walks away. Looney then arrives and sees Jung Woo cutting mushrooms and despite knowing Buell is allergic to them, she says nothing. She tells Jung Woo that Buell is badmouthing him and she also lies to Dayun about Jung Woo clinging to her. In the next scene, they all sit down to eat dinner together. Looney looks at Dayun thinking that if she eats the mushrooms and becomes ill, the show will be canceled. As Dayun puts the food in her mouth, Han Well realizes that the food on their plate has mushrooms and tells her to throw it away immediately. Then she tells Jung Woo that Buell is deadly allergic to mushrooms. However, Jung Woo wonders why when Looney saw him cooking mushrooms, she didn't say anything. Looney tries to defend herself, but Dayun threatens to inform the company about the incident. Back in the cafe, Buell and Jihan have grown close. She admires Jihan's calm strength as well as his kind smile and comforting words. One day, while trying to overcome her camera phobia, she secretly takes his picture and realizes she's fallen in love with him. In the following scene, Jung Woo and Dayun's next mission is to go on an open date. While Jung Woo is signing autographs for his fans, his stalker arrives and asks Dayun for an autograph while slipping a pill into her drink. Fortunately, Jung Woo notices her right away and throws away the glass. Then he has an anxiety attack and goes outside to get some fresh air. Dayun follows him and comforts him, asking why he was speaking badly about her earlier if he really cares about her. She then admits that she overheard everything he said on the phone. Jung Woo responds that there's a member of his group who's quite perverted and always wants to know about girls who are close to him. So he intentionally said all of those things to prevent him from contacting her. She feels embarrassed when she realizes it was all a misunderstanding. After that, they realize they've fallen in love with each other and kiss. In the meantime, Ari arrives just as Buell is looking at Jihan and asks her if she likes him. Buell denies this and asks Ari if he has a girlfriend, to which she responds that he was dating a girl for 10 years, but she died two years ago and he has been single ever since. Later, Buell directly asks Jihan if he will ever date anyone, to which she responds that he doesn't want to date because he believes that if he becomes too attached to someone, he will lose them. Hearing this, Buell says it's not fair for him to be afraid for the rest of his life because he was the one who convinced her to overcome her fear. Then she hands him the camera and he takes a picture of her without feeling anxious for the first time. Back at the hotel, the couples are assigned their next mission, which is to perform on stage, which makes Dayun nervous. On the other hand, the photographer who had the falling out with Jung Woo earlier had the photo of Jung Woo and Dayun kissing published in the media. Seeing this, Buell goes to the hotel with Jihan and Ari, fearing that Jung Woo's stalker will try to harm Dayun. At the hotel, the stalker mixes a pill into Dayun's food, but Ari arrives at the right moment and swaps the food with chocolate. Ari then tries to detain the stalker, but she runs away. Running from Ari, the stalker comes across Dayun, who immediately recognizes her and follows her. Elsewhere, Jung Woo's manager is shouting at him since the kissing picture has gone viral. Meanwhile, the hotel staff informs him of the situation and he rushes to find Dayun who is not letting go of the stalker. When the staff asks him to stop Dayun, he calls the police and hands over the stalker to them. Later, Jung Woo admits in front of the public that everything they saw in the pictures is true, and following this, they give a beautiful performance. Dayun intends to confess the truth to him and invites him to her room later. But when she gets to the room, she finds Ari waiting for her, and she sends Jung Woo away, saying that she'll talk tomorrow. On the other hand, Buell tries to express her feelings to Jihan, but Jihan says that while their time together was wonderful, she must return to her old life now. Hearing this, she doesn't reveal her feelings and thanks him for taking care of her. The next day, the couple's final mission is to go to a place where they have fond memories. So, they return to the convenience store where they last visited. Later that evening, Jung Woo proposes to Dayun that they date after the show. 
However, she becomes nervous, and just as she is about to reveal her true identity, Buell's manager arrives and interrupts them. He reminds Dayun of her promise to keep this a secret and insists that she not tell anyone. After the manager leaves, Dayun tearfully expresses her gratitude to Jungwoo for taking care of her and says that since it's only a show, they must now return to their normal lives. Jungwoo tries to stop her and asks for an explanation, but she just walks away. In the next scene, it's been one month since the show ended and news of Jungwoo and Dayun's breakup has spread. Dayun and Buell both went on with their earlier lives. Buell then pays a visit to Jihan and notices that he is staring at a photograph of her. She asks if he was looking at her photo, which he initially denies in embarrassment, but eventually admit. When Buell asks if he was waiting for her, he says yes, which makes her happy. One day, Dayun returns to the spot where she and Jungwoo first kissed and watches a young couple. After a while, Jungwoo also arrives and sits by her side, much to her surprise. When she asks why he's there, he says that he's been there many times in hopes that she will be there as well. Jungwoo goes on to say that this was the place where they were honest with each other and that he wants to meet the real Dayun now. As the drama continues, we see Jungwoo and Dayun have been in a relationship for the past year. They are in a secret relationship and their little secret is going pretty well. One day, on the day of Dayun's birthday, she prepared food to celebrate with Jungwoo. However, Jungwoo's phone is unreachable and despite waiting all night, he does not make contact. Days pass by and he hasn't contacted her, which makes Dayun concerned that something bad might have happened to him. She spends her days crying in bed, and her friend Ari comes in to comfort her. When Ari says that they shouldn't have trusted Jungwoo since he turned out to be a cheater, Dayun rejects her claims and says that there must be a reason for this. On the other hand, it turns out that Jungwoo's company became aware of his relationship with Dayun, and a few photos of them were also taken. Following that, his company seized his phone and kept a close eye on him, preventing him from meeting or communicating with Dayun. In the next scene, we see Buell who is approached for another reality show, which she immediately declines. However, her CEO yells at her claiming that since Looney left the group, things have been going downhill and that if Buell doesn't comply, she will be fired. Later, Buell's manager advises her that she can ask for help from Dayun again, but she refuses, stating that she does not want to burden her. Nevertheless, when she approaches Dayun, she agrees to do the reality show, hoping she can at least see Jung Woo. This time, the reality show is quite different, with six K-pop idols living together in a hotel for a week. When Dayun arrives, she meets Do Yoon, a member of the band Mystic Fever. His songwriting abilities are exceptional, and every song he writes becomes a number one hit. Then there's Swain, who was a trainee of Jungwoo many years ago, and they're still close. She is a member of the pop group Heyday, and is currently co-starring in a drama with Jungwoo. Furthermore, there is Eden, who is the son of the chief of MS Entertainment, the same agency Jungwoo is signed with. He is envious of Jungwoo because of the amount of attention his father gives him, and he's only in the show to keep an eye on Jungwoo. Looney, who used to be a member of the Angels, is another cast member. After the show ended last year, rumors spread about her bullying Buell, forcing her to leave the company. Later, when Jung Woo arrives, they are given the task of selecting a partner for each other. As a result, Eden and Looney become partners, and Huayn and Jung Woo pair up, leaving Dae Yoon and Do Yoon to form a partnership. In the meantime, Buell goes to the cafe disguised as Dae Yoon, and Ji Han is overjoyed to see her. Next, Jung Woo tries to communicate with Dae Yoon, but Eden keeps an eye on him, preventing him from doing so. Later, Jungwoo requests that Do Yoon deliver a message to Dae Yoon on his behalf, but Do Yoon instantly declines him. Dae Yoon and Do Yoon are giving an interview, and when the host asks her to dance, she says that she has a new talent to show and engages in an arm wrestling match with the host, eventually beating her. Do Yoon then challenges her to an arm wrestling match using only two fingers, but when he realizes he's about to lose, he withdraws his hand. A while later, she requests that Do Yoon deliver a message to Jungwoo on her behalf, which he agrees to do. Back at the cafe, things are going well for Buell until a huge fan of hers, Yoon Sok, arrives and recognizes her. Buell instantly denies him claiming to be Dae Yoon, but he insists she not lie. Later, Buell tells Ari that she recognizes him because he had been following her since her debut album. Yoon Sok is a toxic fan who believes that idols should stay true to themselves and do their jobs rather than run away from their responsibilities. So, it appears that he intends to make things even more difficult for her. Later that night, Dayun discovers a letter from Jung Woo in her room, inviting her to a meeting on the rooftop at 2 a.m. However, Eden and Looney have set up surveillance on the rooftop and plan to catch them together so that Jung Woo can be fired. In the meantime, Dayun goes to the rooftop and waits for him for a while. She hears a knock on the door, and as she opens it, Jung Woo pulls her inside while she drops her phone on the rooftop. Then, they go to a secret storeroom and spend some time together. On the other hand, Eden and Lunli find Dayun's phone and intend to unlock it to find proof of her affair and expose it. 
The next day, Dayun changes into a short dress and prepares for a photo shoot after her intended dress disappears all of a sudden. Since she can't move well, Dayun offers her his coat and shouts to the photographer that she shouldn't be forced to wear such dresses. Seeing this, Jungwoo becomes jealous of Dayun's concern for Dayun. It turns out that Looney stole Dayun's dress, and when Dayun discovers this, he humiliates her for stealing in front of everyone. A while later, Jungwoo discovers that Eden and Looney had stolen Dayun's phone. He then confronts Eden and questions him about the phone. As they begin to fight, Wayne steps in and takes the phone from Eden's pocket. She then threatens to expose Eden if he misbehaves or does something inappropriate again. Back at the cafe, Eunsuk is making life difficult for Buell by bothering her all the time. Later, he calls someone and informs them that the famous idol Buell and a girl named Dayoon have swapped places for the reality show. He also promises to photograph her and send proof. In the next scene, Eden learns about Buell and Dayoon swapping places through someone. Then he asks Looney to find out whether or not the girl is the real Buell. Meanwhile, Jungwoo is becoming increasingly concerned about Dayoon and Dooyoon's growing closeness, and even dreams about them. On the other hand, Dooyoon is having a great time with this and becomes even closer to Dayoon in order to make Jungwoo jealous. Wayne notices all of this and tries to help Jungwoo by spilling water on Dooyoon, making him leave. A while later, Wayne notices Buell calling on Dayoon's phone and realizes she's not the real Buell. When she inquires about it, Dayoon reveals the truth and requests that she keep it a secret. Later that night, Looney tries to check on the scar on Dayoon's back to see if it's the real Buell or not. Dayoon suddenly gets up and scolds her, while Looney demands that she show the scar. Meanwhile, Huayne awakens and supports Dayoon, claiming that she saw her scar while changing clothes earlier. However, when Looney asks where she saw the scar, Huayne remains silent because she has no idea. Next, Jihan discovers that Eunsuk is bothering Buell and threatens him to stay away from her. Later, they catch him red-handed while trying to photograph Buell. Buell confronts him, claiming that he is a toxic fan and has no idea how difficult life is for idols. Then, she says that if the news about this is published in the media, she'll assume it was spread by Eunsuk, and she'll sue him any way she can for the invasion of privacy. Hearing this, Eunsuk becomes terrified and walks away. In the meantime, Dooyoon has developed a crush on Dayoon and will take any opportunity to be close to her. He eventually tells her that he really likes her, and that if she was his girlfriend, he wouldn't keep it a secret from the rest of the world. However, Dayoon rejects him, claiming that she only loves Jungwoo and cannot bear the thought of being with someone else. Later, Dayoon learns from Wayne that if Jungwoo's contract is cancelled, he will have to pay a large sum to the company, and his life will become extremely difficult. Therefore, she tells Jungwoo that they must break up for his sake, since they cannot continue to hide like this forever. Jungwoo tries to assure her that he will fix things and asks her not to break up with him, but she walks away from there. Next, Looney takes Dooyoon's phone and texts Buell, asking her to meet her at the concert at 4pm, and instructs her not to call or text anything before that. Seeing this, Buell becomes concerned and thinks that there must be something important. Later that evening, Dayoon visits Jungwoo and apologizes to him for talking about the breakup earlier. Jungwoo says that he knows she cares about him, but he can't bear the thought of breaking up with her, and they hug each other. Meanwhile, it turns out that Huayne has had a huge crush on Jungwoo for many years, but never dared tell him. That is why she's now helping him, so that he can be happy with the love of his life. After that, Jungwoo and Huayne perform a beautiful song together at the concert. On the other hand, Buell also enters the company believing Dayoon has called her. Despite her mask, a staff member recognizes her and whisks her away to get ready for her performance. Meanwhile, Eden discovers that both of them are here, so he asks that Looney call in the reporters in order to expose them. Looney then enters the dressing room with the reporters, where Dayoon and Buell are present. Since Dayoon is hiding, Looney confronts Buell and asks her where the other one is so she can expose them. Fortunately, Dooyoon arrives at that moment and stops Looney, stating that she has already harassed Buell numerous times, but she must stop this now. Then he turns to the reporters and tells them to publish the news about Looney's bullying and harassment. Looney realizes she's about to get into trouble and asks Eden for his help, but he also refuses, saying she's on her own. In the following scene, an enraged Looney tells Eden's father about his wrongdoings. Eden's father then arrives and slaps him, saying that he can't believe his son is such trash. Angrily, Eden drags Buell to the stage where Dayoon is performing and exposes them as fraudsters who deceive the public. Buell then stands up and apologizes to everyone, saying that it's her fault and she's to blame for everything. Seeing this, Jungwoo also steps forward and reveals everything about his relationship with Dayoon to the public. This incident creates a huge scandal, which appears everywhere on the news. Following the incident, all of them come clean and give interviews explaining the truth. Next, the CEO hands Jungwoo a termination contract and asks that he sign it. However, Jungwoo refuses to sign it and asks for another chance with the CEO, claiming that he will recover all the losses within a year. The CEO agrees on the condition that Jung travels abroad for a year and performs there. Meanwhile, Buell eventually works up the courage to ask Jihan to be in a relationship with her. 
Jihan is also ready to let go of his past and accept. Thus begins the beautiful start of their relationship. On the other hand, Daeyun sobs uncontrollably after hearing Jungwoo will be gone for a year. However, Jungwoo calms her down and tells her that nothing will change between them and that time will pass quickly. A few days later, Buell calls Daeyun to see how she is and if anything is bothering her. Daeyun assures her that she's fine and that the incident is gradually being forgotten. One evening, while Daeyun is sitting alone in the cafe listening to Jungwoo's song, he appears all of a sudden and says that he's going to stay this time and will not leave. Hearing this, Daeyun is overjoyed and they kiss each other as the series comes to an end.